Hello everybody, and I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. Now, I've noticed uh, since I have been putting up uh, what some people would say controversial musings, I guess, you would say that, you know, uh, anti-Islamic things on my uh, Facebook page, I've noticed that uh, I've been getting friends requests with people with really funny names. Um, not funny haha, -ha, but funny as in, uh, well, I would go onto their page and some of it is written in Arabic. Hmm. So, I must be doing something right if I'm pissing them off. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys that are the three percenters, sheepdoggers, uh, uh, truth tellers, um, uh, oath keepers, and a few others of that. Uh, mindset are probably with getting the same thing and so instead of you know I keep a close eye on my but a friend's thing and stuff like that I just don't accept everybody um, if I am in doubt I don't accept them. I do check to see who else they have on our list. And there are a few names that I look for that I know if they are on that person's list that they are safe to put on mine. Now, I know whose names that I'm looking for and that I seem to be doing pretty good with that part. Um, I have noticed that some of the uh, cities that are for the uh, that they're going to be uh, shipping the uh, Syrian so-called refugees here into the United States um, are cities that I'm very well and I know very well you know uh, I have relatives that live nearby um, like uh, okay I'm just gonna name some of the cities Cleveland Toledo Columbus, Cincinnati, uh, those are all the ones I remember in the state of Ohio. And here in West Virginia, it's Charleston, West Virginia is one of the safe cities for them, I guess. Uh, do we really need this? No. We don't know how many of them are going to be uh, extremists. And people don't believe what mainstream media shows you. Okay? There's a lot of other media outlets that you can get a hold of on your internet that show you what ours are afraid to show you. I find it odd that these people are supposed to have been traveling for hundreds and hundreds of miles for days on end, but yet a lot of them are clean shaven. A lot of them 
look like they haven't been traveling that far. They look in pretty good health for uh, people that are supposed to be refugees. Physically fit. Hmm. And some of them have been carrying iPhones and iPods. And there was a group that actually refused food because it had the sign of the cross on it from the Red Cross. But yet, the U.S. media doesn't show you that. Huh. I wonder why. Maybe because we got somebody in the White House that has a uh, prayer curtain. That gold curtain that he stands in front of when he gives his, his speeches. You know, the guy that refuses to wear the, uh, uh, yeah, that pen that, you know, that has the uh, American flag on it, but yet he's supposed to be representing us. The man that, uh, bowed down to a Saudi prince or king or whatever yeah a king a Saudi king he bowed down to maybe that's why this stuff isn't getting uh, reported because we have one in the White House. And trust me, everybody's going to be thinking, oh, he's just spouting the hate, he's just spouting this. All the facts add up. He's been lying for years. And we got suckered in. Don't know what else to say on that one. So, uh, I got other things that got to get done today. I'm glad that I was able to uh, put up this video. Um, once I'm able to get my camera. I'll be putting up more videos. It's kind of difficult doing it from the webcam. And plus, if I'm doing it out and about, I could do a lot more. Say a lot more. Spur of the moment stuff, you know how that is. Well, this is Lurch thing. Peace and God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Until then, God willing.